Hey everyone, fastly reported quarterly financial results that have the stock price down roughly 27% after the earnings release. So I'll review the numbers and I'll answer if I think this dip is a buying opportunity if investors should buy fastly stock. Coming into the quarter, I did not have the stock rated as a buy. So you're going to want to see if I'm updating and upgrading that recommendation here. So let's get into it. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so I have a five-day chart here of Fastly stock price, and you could see it relatively stable and then crashing down on May 2nd after the company reported the financial results down now after bouncing back up a little bit it's now down 27.42 percent in the last five days now total revenue of 133 million was up 14 percent year over year that wasn't so bad that wasn't so bad at all the net loss of 43.4 million was a disappointment because it was only a slight improvement from the 44.7 million it lost in the same quarter the prior year i was hoping for better improvement in their profitability given that they were making good progress previously on in that regard now if you look at some of the more critical metrics you can see why investors sent the stock price lower so the previous 12 month net retention rate increased to 114 percent in the first quarter that was up from 113 percent in the previous quarter that was good news actually the net retention rate measures how much customers that have been with you for more than a year increase their spending with you so a number over 100 percent means that year over year that customer spent more with you 114 percent means they spent 14 percent more with you this year than they did last year that demonstrates a good customer value proposition customers feel they're getting a good value with fastly otherwise why would they increase their spending with fastly if they weren't getting good value they would stop pause or reduce their spending with fastly this metric shows that they actually increased their spending so that was good news the total customer count came in at 3290 that was up by just 47 from the previous quarter 577 were enterprise customers in the first quarter and that was down one from the fourth quarter so very mediocre customer growth from fastly and then remaining performance obligations which were 227 million was down four percent from the previous quarter from 236 million remaining performance obligations are contracts that fastly has signed that it has yet to deliver the obligation so whatever service it has agreed to sell in this contract it hasn't yet delivered on and so remaining performance obligation measures what revenue is going to look like over the next couple of months and couple of years and if remaining performance obligation is falling that means you didn't sign enough contracts in the quarter you didn't get enough new deals in the quarter and you delivered more on the deals you had previously than you re-signed and so that number decreased because you fulfilled enough service to decrease that number, right? Because as you fulfill the service, remaining performance obligation falls and revenue increases. So that's the travel. That's how that metric travels. First, when you sign a contract, it goes in as remaining performance obligation. And then when you perform on that contract, it moves over into the revenue category. Okay, so it goes into remaining performance obligation, then into revenue. So if your remaining performance obligation is falling overall, that means more went into revenue in the quarter than went into remaining performance obligation. In other words, you completed more service than you signed in new service. And if that's falling, that's not really a trait of a growth company. A growth company typically has more RPO than revenue, or at the very least, flat RPO than revenue. When you're down, that signals growth is coming down. That's not what investors in Fastly stock want to see because coming into the quarter, 
the stock was trading at an expensive valuation. This is why I did not have the stock rated as a buy. I had it as a hold or a market perform. And one of the major reasons was because it's trading at a forward price to earnings, or it was at roughly 80. A forward PE of 80 is very expensive. This is characteristic of a growth company, a growth stock with revenue, cash flow, and profitability expanding and moving in the right direction. Well, I showed you earlier that their net income barely improved. They're losing money on the bottom line, and they barely made any progress on that front. What's more, the revenue growth rate is slowing down, remaining performance obligation turned negative, and one of the only good metrics in the quarter was the net revenue retention rate, which increased from the previous quarter ever so slightly. So you can understand why the stock price is falling as meaningfully as it is. Finally, if we look at the revenue forecast of between 130 and 134 million in the second quarter of 2024, it's an incremental, I would say not very not very much better from the first quarter and the full quarter, full year outlook of 560 million at the midpoint is a little bit disappointing as well, highlighting to investors a decelerating company, a decelerating revenue growth, which is okay in most instances, but when you're paying a premium valuation for a company, you don't want to see these types of metrics. You want to see higher quality metrics, higher quality revenue growth. Let me share with you what they delivered in the first quarter in revenue, and then let's compare it to the second quarter revenue outlook of 132 million at the midpoint. So I'll highlight here again for you that in the first quarter, the company delivered 133.5 million in revenue. So in the second quarter, they're forecasting that their revenue is going to decrease from the first quarter, so an incremental decrease. And a year-over-year -year growth of 14% wasn't all that great to begin with. And management is telling investors that the second quarter is not going to be that much better. It's going to be right around this point, a little bit lower. So not a very good quarter from Fastly. Now, judging the company on the terms of the valuation, right? That's how I come into these. When a company is trading at an expensive valuation, I'm a little more critical on the company. I want to see everything just right, okay? It's not unlike if you go into a store and you're looking at, you know, a $100 sweater or something like that, a very premium item. You're judging that more critically. You're looking at all of the stitching and everything more critically because you're like, oh, this is a $100 sweater. The only way I'm paying $100 for a sweater is if everything is just right. I'm not going to pay $100 for a sweater if there's some thing out of place that I don't feel I like. I can go buy a much less expensive sweater if there's things I don't like about it. So that's how I approach companies trading at premium or super premium valuation with a more critical eye. And that's why I'm highlighting these things as not being good because the stock is so expensive. In and of itself, growing revenue by 14% is solid, right? You're increasing your company's revenue by double digits, you're making progress, you're delivering good uh, service to your customers, all of which would be great, okay? The only reason why I'm painting it in a slightly disappointing picture is because I'm measuring it against its super expensive valuation. Okay, so finally, to update my recommendation, I had Fastly stock rated as a hold coming into the quarter. After reviewing the stock, I'm keeping it here. I don't think this dip is a buying opportunity because the stock is still very expensive even after the fall off it's still trading at a relatively expensive valuation given the company's direction right now thank you for watching this video i truly appreciate it i know there's a lot you could be doing with your time and a lot of other videos you could be watching so i truly appreciate that you chose to watch this one if you want to see more videos just like this hit the subscribe or the like button they'll both help me make more videos just like this one thank you again